small video by the way. Okay, our next item on the agenda is Martin County Education Association report. Yeah, we gave uh Madam copy of our grievance I didn't think. I don't know if we gave you a copy of that to make sure you're aware of what was in it. What laws were being broken and uh if you even discuss where we at on that at this point. Yes. Yeah. It has been Taking action on tonight, or you like under advice. We also have a uh, <coughs> letter for request for open records. We'd like to get that to Recognize your KEA certified employees. I'd just like to say that NCA told us, of course, are classified. We couldn't make it without them. And they're going to help to uh, get the job done. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Because these very five board members allowed a hiring freeze to go, uh, a hiring to go without opening the mouth. And you know, and if that had not happened, we could probably be paying our teachers right now. I mean, you know, and that's just where I stand on it. I pray about it. Yeah, I'm talking about God. That's a problem I can leave. Um, but I pray about it, and this is where my heart is. And you all got to understand, I'm tugged. What pleases one infuriates another. And I've had about all I can take, really. But that's my stand for it. I I'd just like to come in and, uh, of course, I hope you all will consider the position of we're in. And, uh, and I've said this, you know, and hopefully it's not the uh, same old same, but I want to thank Mr. Meadows has done the, you know, a great job to do the best he possibly can. And, uh, you know, I consider myself to be a teacher. I consider myself to always be a teacher. Uh, I've, been your, I've been in your position. I can empathize with you. I understand where you're coming from. Uh, you know, you look at the, you get that salary schedule every year, you look, and of course, uh, you set plans or, you know, the experience ways. I've been there. I've been there in that position. I am for you. I hope that you will have the patience to help us. And we've talked about being retroactive. Uh, as soon as the funds for money comes available, uh, it's going to happen. And I hope, you know, like I said, I'm staying. I'll stand up for you. I'm classified the same. I had a sister-in-law a teacher day. Uh, Four-year degree. I know what she got paid. I know a lot of you are working basically for insurance coverage. I'm willing to listen uh, to classify the teachers, but help us, and you've got to help us. It's a, it's a team effort here. I've been a coach. I don't know what a team effort means to get to a goal. And our goal is to make it better for teachers to get you that raise. And I'm for it. Uh, I'm for classified. My sister-in-law was classified. Uh, and I know many of you all that are classified and our teachers I had in class. And uh, like I said, I can even buy it and you'll probably say, that's the same old, same old. And, uh, but help us and be patient with us to get our house, get this thing in order. Little did I know when I ran for board member. And the reason I ran for board member, I didn't want uh, what happened to you guys or what happened to me that happened to you. I wanted the best for the kids of Martin County. 
best for teachers. Again, it's a team effort. That's the reason I ran. Uh, to be a voice for kids, to be a voice for teachers, to be a voice for classified. And, uh, you know, I, little did I know, little did I dream, I knew we had certain things as far as a mess. I'm sure Mr. Meadows, when he came in, and I'm always kidding about him when he leaves the district, are you going to come back? But give him a chance. Give us a chance. Um, I can say, little did I dream of us being 500,000 and even projected at one time by Mr. Spielman, projected in the latter months of this this year to be $900,000 in the rig. Little did I dream that blasting company or a highway by the side of our school is going to close our school day. I did not dream of those things happening. But I'm telling you that it's on the right path. It's on the right track. If we can work together, team effort, patience, I think it's going to happen. I believe with all my heart that it will happen, that you will get your raise. That sooner or later, classified, we'll be, we will listen. Mr. Carlos, I appreciate that. But I was not asking for raises. I'm asking for your recognition. For you to vote to recognize our classified people the same way as you do the certified members. It has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with money. This we is understand. Our we understand. Like I say, left. That's it. Yeah. Can I? Okay. Why can't we have a vote? And that's something tonight. We've waited three months. Four months. I'll, I'll express one more time. I'm 40, but I'm sitting here with a history of $500,000 in red. This has nothing to do with money. I know what you said. I know what you said. <coughs> and. And it's just got, just got to let us get this thing in order. I'll I don't have a problem with that. I appreciate, I appreciate your expression. I, I got the highest respect for you. So then you're discriminating. Well, thank you for that. Uh, uh, I can make a motion. No, no, let's just go ahead and vote, guys. No, let's, not, let's, let's go ahead and vote. Let's, let's consider it. I think we need to let's consider it. Will you? Oh, well, Glenda, hang on a second. Will you let us? See, I've been on both sides of the fence when I was in the union. I, I was in the union for years, and I understand completely. We all had, uh, and I sympathize with you. I mean, back when y'all were here in February, you know, when they, they tried to hire a, a clerk, you all stood up and said, basically, you didn't ask for more money, you didn't ask for anything. You said, we don't need a clerk. And uh, I have a great deal of respect for you all for doing that. Uh, you know, but here's the thing that we're, you know, facing out. We don't have the money to pay our teachers. This is not costing you I know, I know, I know. Well, <clears throat> that will cost you things. And we are not taken away from Mr. Matters. We I will, Mr. Matters, we are. I'll, I'll, will say this, I will say this, I will say this. Okay, I will say this. Based on, <laughs> based on, based on what I know from you all, I have no problem. With the recognition, you all. As far as your past, you know the things that you all done here before, no problems. I have none whatsoever. No qualms at all. Um, is that a motion? Yes. Yes. We just went up or down vote, and there's reason behind that. Just, I, I believe the chairman's already shared that he would take this under advisement. I, I would ask the audience to respect the board's. Decision to take that advisement. Well, it's not just the chairman's decision. Well, the board has to agree to take it under advisement. I think the board has been given advice to take this under advisement, okay. and they're taking that. Well, it's, it's not been evident to those. I'm just trying for transparency. Right. Let, let me, uh, let me just say. I, I think I've spoke. Is anybody in this room come to my office that I did not? that I did not invite you in. And I know I've sat down with the small groups and large groups. You can relax if you want to. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. I'm relaxed. Uh, di we are in a difficult uh, circumstance, situation. And I beg to differ. I, I think it will cost money because it will cost money in our negotiation of a contract with you. We'll with our negotiation. Well, 
No, we're, we would that would cost the board negotiation of uh, council to look at your agreements. There's no agreement. <coughs> well, I'm, I'm not here to argue that. I'm just here to say this. There was a question that I asked to everyone. What is it that I can't provide you? I can't provide you as uh, representing the leadership of this district. What is it that I cannot provide you that your association can? I'm and not there's saying three that things that you're looking. For. I know you didn't question that. Right. And I'm not here to argue or debate with you personally. I just want to put it on the table as a fact: is that the three things that I kept hearing, and it did not change. We want to be respected. Doesn't cost you a dime, folks. You want to be heard. There's not one person that I've ever turned away, regardless of what I had on my plate, on my desk. My office has always been open. I've never asked anyone to leave. And you want to be treated equal and fairly. I, and I and those and it indicates to me a, a very powerful message. <laughs> you haven't been getting those. Now that's not. Yeah, a, a, yeah that's correct. That is not an indictment against this board or previous boards or administration or leadership. As Dr. Wells said, it is what it is. When she said she's come to comfort the afflicted. Sometimes I think you need to leave off the last part. I've come to afflict the comfortable. <laughs> that happens sometimes because we do get comfortable with what we're doing. And when we get comfortable, we get lazy. And when we get lazy, we don't take care of one another. Uh, so you will, you are respected, and you are listened to, and you will be treated equally and fairly. Uh, the two months that I've been here, I, I've demonstrated that. Uh, and I get the waiver. Uh, and so I, my advice in council, and you know what that is, yes, I, uh, I, I don't think it's necessary, and I don't advise the board to enter into those negotiations or uh, collective bargaining. No, no, no. So I don't do it. My, well, no, excuse do me, it. just a second, I have the floor. And so if, if there are any violations to that, <coughs> violations of federal law, I, I address those, and we're going to fix those, whether it's, as Mr. Harles has pointed out, retroactive. Uh, in taking care of our folks, and again, I would disagree that we have uh, broken laws or violated. Uh, those are uh, accusations and grievances, but nothing has been, uh, nothing, nothing has been demonstrated or shown in a court of law or anywhere else that this board is doing anything illegal. So when we say we're broke, breaking laws, whether it's classified or certified, that's just not true. Now, it can be shown in a court somewhere through litigation, but as of right now, this, this board is break, are breaking no laws. You can say that we are, but we're not. That's our position. So, once again, do I recognize you personally? Of course I do. Every time you come into my office, every time you call, every time you email. But folks, I'm, I'm telling you, if you will trust me, no one in this district or this community will work harder for you. No one. No one. I've been where you're sitting. There's not too many places I have a set. So I know. Now you're, you're, we're going to continue to ask for the recognition. I realize that. And I respect that just as I've met with Mark and Tom on several occasions. We respect each other's position. We advocate for our constituencies. And there's great respect from that from the board to you and for you to the board. 